Hello everyone. So in this session, we are going to see about down counter in TIA portal. So basically all the terminologies related to the counters will be same as the previous counter that was up counter. And in this picture, we are going to see the down counter. So in down counter, what happens is the counters value will be running in the negative direction when you are giving the input pulses. So basically in up counter, what was happening? When you were giving the pulses, the current value was changing in positive manner from 0 to it was going to 1, 2, 3 in this way. In this down counter, the current value will be going in the negative direction. So let us see how does this down counter works. Okay. So here we'll be having two inputs. Basically, one will be for our input pulses and another will be for reset and one output. Okay. So let us see how to do that. So here I'll be having one input pulse. So basically I need some tags. So I will just create some tags here. So input pulse. Okay. So the next will, next one will be, this is input and then we'll be having one reset. Okay. After this, will be having one this is our reset and another one will be having is uh, our output right so basically it will be an led okay so q0.0 will be the address here okay now let us see how to make the logic so it will be very simple similar to the previous counter itself we'll be taking just this counter okay and then we'll be taking the output right so here we'll be having input i0.0 and here we'll be having output q0.0 and here we'll be having the reset so i'll put it as a reset here okay so in this way we are having all the inputs and outputs now we'll be putting some preset value as 5 for example right now let me download this logic into the simulator okay after downloading this logic let me go into the online mode okay after going to online mode let us go to the monitor mode right so let us observe what is going to happen in this logic right so initially if you observe the value of this current value is zero so let me make it five see here we have given preset value as 5 right so when you are giving this reset pulse so first you will have to give this reset pulse okay so when you are giving this reset pulse so now see what happened see the counters value the current value is now 5 right so now now we will be giving the input pulses so when you are giving the first input pulse it will go to 4 now when you are giving the next input pulse it will go to 3 in this way it will be going in the negative direction uh and then it will be 2 okay so number of pulses are increasing and the counter is moving in the negative direction when it is going to 0 when it will become 0 when the current value becomes 0 or less than 0 then the output will be in the high state see here okay see when it is zero the output is in high state and whenever it is negative also it will be in the high state okay so in this way this down counter works okay so in the next session we'll be seeing about up down counter okay so thank you